In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use subfigures so that you can place figures against each other, below each other, and so on. Okay, so I want you to get started, started off by saying it's a document class of an article. You can use whatever else you want to, and the begin and end documents. Now, we're going to use a few packages, and there's a few that's really important. Well, first of all, the most important one is Graphic X. Um, but it just so happens that you need to use these other two as well, called uh, caption and subcaption. Uh, I'm not sure why they make you do that for subfigures, but you apparently you do. Um, and also for later, so this is not um, needed for right now, but use package hyperref. Okay, so the referencing, I'll show you a bit, of, a bit on that. Okay, so let's get started. Um, now you start off by saying begin figure. So I have done this elsewhere, so I'm kind of cheating, but that's okay. Um, so you start by saying begin figure. Okay, now for content, uh, for the content of that, we're going to start off by saying begin subfigure. Okay, so we're going to start off by saying begin subfigure. But uh, what's going to be important is that you write uh, a second, in a second curly brackets, the text width okay so you, you unfortunately you had to do this twice but the text width I'm going to say is is going to be 0.5 okay so half half the width of the page uh, and then you start off by including what you're supposed to what you want to be saying so in this case you start off by saying centering so you center the picture and then you include the graphics so the include graphics option the square brackets will have for you to uh, insert options okay so in this case i have to say with this equal to text with again so I'll, I'll get rid of this for now and then show you what happens um, and then curl brackets the name of the file now you never write the extension so if it was jpeg you don't write dot jpg just leave it as it is okay so the cap and then the next line a caption and if you want a label as well, if you want to refer back to this, okay, so this, this is how you do a label. But the label, you go fig, double dot, and then whatever whatever it is that you need. Okay, so let me just get some spacing in here so you can see this clearer. Okay, so start off by saying begin figure, and then you, you say begin sub figure. If you want it to be half the width of the page, you say it's a half width of the page, okay. You center it, and then you include the graphics. Okay, so let me show you what happens now. Okay, so unfortunately, if you don't say text width again, it takes up the entire page. Okay, so I'm going to put, put the width is equal to text width again. Okay, so there you go. And the caption, I said it's a Superman. Okay, so that's that's what, I don't know if you can see it, but th that's what, what I've written over here. Okay. Now, instead of writing width is equal to text width, I can specifically say width is equal to, I don't know, uh, three centimeters. I guess so you, you don't have to specify so it'll become smaller um, I can do things like uh, write a comma height is equal to one inch instead okay so if I do that unfortunately the ratio doesn't isn't uh, preserved because it says the width is text width and the height is one inch so it's trying to satisfy both conditions but anyway um, so let's move on so you don't really need that but if you are using these options make sure you make sure you use a comma in between Okay, so that's that's still just one picture in there. Now let's put a second picture in there. So I've, I've done this before, like I said. I guess I'm going to include a second picture in here. Uh, oops, I think I went a bit too far. So I'm going to use a second picture. Okay, pasting all of that. And again, I start off by saying begin subfigure. Um, and again, I, I personally want it to be half the width, okay? And I want it to be uh, standing side by side. So I say width is again equal to text width, um, and then the name of the file, okay? So yeah, so let's let's see what, what this gives me. Okay, there you go. So side by side, I have Superman and, and Goku. Um, right, okay. Now, something that's really missing in here is the fact that um, there's no caption. So caption for, for those two, right? So usually you, when you're doing scientific papers, you want to explain what's going on when you're comparing two images, right? So in this case, I'm going to say uh, Superman versus Goku. 
Okay, and of course you want to put a label in there as well. And the label, I'm going to be saying, uh, so I've done this before, I'll just paste it. So there you go. So label is figure G versus S. Okay, so the label, it really doesn't matter. You just have to say fig, double dot, and then just a little name for you to, for you to refer to it later on. Okay, so I've done that. And if I was to refer to it later on, this is the text that I'll be using. Okay, so I go high, look at slash ref, and then bracket, in curly brackets, you go fig of Goku, all right? So the, the, the good thing is that this red thing, this, uh, this thing over here, you can click on it, okay? And then it'll jump to it. You can, it didn't jump to it properly, but if I was looking at the PDF, it will jump to the proper place, okay? Um, and um, because I mentioned the width thing before, and if you notice the, the the two heights are different, right? So what you can do is you can say instead of doing width is equal to text width, I can say height uh, is equal to uh, let's go two inches for both of them. So I'm going to copy this so that regardless of uh, what this text width is, the first time you say it, now they should both be the same size. Okay. One last, th one last little trick that I'm going to show you is suppose you want to place it underneath each other. And if you want to do that, all you have to do is uh, find where the first subfigure ends, place a blank line. Okay, so blank line means go to the next line. If you don't want to do that, sometimes you want to, you want to have some space there instead, you do quad. Okay, so quad, um, you can do negative space if I remember correctly, but anyway, that, that's, that's really the idea behind it. Um, that's it for that's it for now so if you have any questions or comments let me know so that's uh, and that's pretty much it so superman versus goku i personally prefer goku and uh thanks for watching